join me for the Taco Bell Foundation's Summer of Connection. I started my journey to California by driving over to the Philadelphia airport, checking my bags in, and boarding my plane. Once we got up in the air and the six hour trip had officially started, I got to finish up some schoolwork, which I was really grateful for because as a pre-med and neuroscience student, the studying literally never stops. Not only did I get some work done, but I got to enjoy the view and get some sleep in. Once we landed in San Diego, I went ahead and met up with the other scholars, put my bags on the bus and headed over to the hotel. It was really cool seeing all the other scholars. Only 300 were selected out of the thousands nationwide. So it was really special that we were all there together. Here's a little fit check while I waited in line and then it was time to check in. So I checked in, signed up for the QR quest, grabbed my swag and grabbed my t-shirt. My room wasn't quite ready yet. So while I waited, I headed over to go get a snack. They had this whole area blocked off just for us Taco Bell scholars, and there was plenty of cool stuff to do, including this awesome photo booth that I just had to try out. The props were too cute. I loved the little taco headband, very on theme. I took my pictures, and I really, really liked how they turned out. They were so silly. Then I returned to my original mission of getting a snack. They had tons of beverages provided by their sponsor, Pepsi, and of course, a wide variety of snacks. After I ate, I went exploring. I met some more scholars and saw this cool photo booth where you could take professional headshots. And before I knew it, it was time for the opening ceremony. As I headed to my seat, I saw that they had even more swag on our chairs. The ceremony started with two musical performances, one a video and the other a live performance by a fellow scholar. During the performance, they had us raise our flashlights if we could relate to the various messages on the screen, a reminder that we're not as alone as we might think. Then Dan Horgan, a huge part of organizing the conference, spoke to us. Then we took a little brain break and played a game. And then Jen and Mark from the Taco Bell Foundation spoke to us. And last but not least, the keynote speaker, Kevin Carroll, spoke to us. I found his talk really inspiring. One thing he mentioned was grit. It was really cool how he gave us a QR code where we could test our own grit. Feel free to scan and get yours. I asked him a question after his talk, and as a reward for speaking up, he gave not just me, but my entire row some more swag. We closed the session with a spinning of the prize wheel, and then it was time to go get some dinner. They had lots of options. From burgers and fries to, of course, Taco Bell. After I got my food, I headed over to the private seating area. They had even more food options over here, this time for people who don't eat meat. For seating, everybody sat with their purpose pack, an assigned group of fellow scholars. Here's my purpose pack, group 22. It was so great to enjoy dinner and chat with my new friends in my purpose pack. After dinner, my room was ready, so I headed up to put my bags away. Here's what my room looked like. I loved that I was in the suites. It was like a little apartment. The personal touches that the Taco Bell team put in the room were really cute. My favorite part was definitely the pillow chocolates. The fire sauce packaging was so cool and so iconic. And last but not least, here's the view I had from my room's deck. It was so nice being able to see the marina whenever I stepped out there. Once I settled in, it was time to head back out for the evening activities. They had lots to choose from, including graffiti expressions, choreo challenge, which is the one that I chose, fiesta dip battle, and even more that I wasn't able to capture on camera. Once the activities were done, I headed back to my hotel room, where I spent the night practicing my speech for the next day's passion pitch competition. 
I was really nervous because I was one of only eight scholars selected out of the total 300 to give a pitch, so I wanted it to go well. In addition to preparing my speech, I also prepped the surprise science experiment I was going to do during my talk. Here's a glimpse as to how my speech went. All the practice was definitely worth it, but I do wish I got a bit of sleep because I had a crazy day ahead of me. Here's a sneak peek as to what was in store for me. Be sure to come back for part two to see how I placed in the pitch competition and how the rest of my crazy day went. See you next time. Bye.